the support department at Bamboo Solutions, we get quite a few questions about how to install and configure Bamboo File Share Library. Also, we get a lot of questions about how to install and configure Bamboo Video Library. So, in the first part of this two part video series, we're going to configure, install and configure Bamboo File Share Library. And then in the second part, we are going to install and configure Bamboo Video Library and also integrate it with Bamboo File Share Library. So as a bit of introduction, Bamboo File Share Library lets you view, manage, and open files on a network file share from within SharePoint 2007, 2010, or 2013. In this case, I'm going to use uh, SharePoint 2013. And to get things started, what we really need to do for in our example here is set up a, a file share. So you can see that I have a folder named share that is located for demonstration purposes on the web front end of of my SharePoint 2013 farm and let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, sharing properties you can see that for my purposes everyone has read con everyone has read permissions and I have owner permissions. But basically, any file share will pretty much work, whether it's uh, Novell, if anyone still uses that, or a Linux share like Samba, or, or uh, a NAS maybe, or a regular uh, Microsoft file share like we have here. So now that we've seen that, um, let me close out of here. And let's go ahead and start the install of Bamboo File Share Library. This is the most recent release, version 2.5 for SharePoint 2013. We're going to go ahead and click File Share Library in the Core Components section and then go ahead and click Install. And we're going to go ahead and click Next in the wizard here. All the prerequisites have passed, so we're going to click Next and accept the license terms and click Next again. And this is giving us the deployment targets because I only have one web app in this particular farm. Um, that's the only web app that's listed. And so we went ahead and clicked Next, and now the file share solutions are being added to the store and deployed I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while that's happening we're back to the activating features section which means that the solution was deployed and now the site collection features are being activated registering the version number, registering the core, and all operations have completed successfully. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And the installation summary is shown. You can see that the solution was su successfully deployed. So we're going to go ahead and click Close. And if you don't already have it installed, you probably need to install Bamboo Web License Manager as well. In my case, I've already got it installed, so we're going to skip that uh, uh, section for the moment. Close that. Let me swap out of my RDP session here, and let's go back to my desktop browser because I think it's a little, uh, it'll be a little easier to see. So I basically have a, a uh, team site site collection here on SharePoint 2013. In order to to use File Share Library, we actually need to create an instance of it. And you can do that by um, clicking on the 
little cog wheel in SharePoint 2013. And let's go to add an app. We're back to the the add an app page, and basically, we're gonna we're gonna scroll down in the apps you can add section, and we're going to select Bamboo FileShare Library. And let's give it a name for this, in this case, we'll just do Bamboo File Share Library. And we're going to go ahead and click Create. And you'll see that the the Bamboo FileShare library was successfully created. Let's go ahead and open that up by clicking on the folder icon. After the Bamboo FileShare library instance that we created opens, what we need to do is uh, configure it. So let's do that now. You can click on library and then there is an option in the ribbon that says file share library settings. So let's click that. And you'll see in the network settings section that we can um, enter our file share information that we configured on the the SharePoint web front end earlier in the video. So that was backslash backslash RJ SP twenty thirteen backslash share. And then this is important. We need to configure a username and password that the bamboo file share library web part will use to access the file share. So in my case, let's do QA backslash RJSP 2013 APP is one of my uh, accounts and so let's go ahead and I entered the password there. The subfolder sync, for for most people, I would imagine that you probably want to leave the default uh, selected at all subfolders, but um, you can uh, adjust that as needed. The, the SharePoint settings, the export options, will allow users to um, export items from the file share into I'm sorry that will allow users to export from SharePoint to the file share you can adjust that as needed the import options this is probably what most people want to do at least in in uh, our support experience the import options will allow you, if this is selected, to import items from the file share into the Bamboo SharePoint file share library. And by default, if you don't import, what you'll basically see is a shortcut. Um, in the in SharePoint the actual file will reside still on the on the file share but you will see a sh you'll basically see a shortcut that you can click on um, to to manage the file on the file share optionally you can delete the file from the file share library or leave it or leave it 
or move it um, in the import options section. For most people, at least to start with, I would probably leave the file on the file share as well. Don't automatically delete it until you're sure the file share library is working the way that you want to. And so I think the rest of these defaults are okay. Except for the synchronization settings. Um, this will actually schedule a timer job, a SharePoint timer job, to automatically sync the the uh, the file share with SharePoint. As I mentioned, the files won't automatically be imported unless you go into the file share and import them manually. And there's an option for the on-demand sync as well. And by default, I should mention the if the the default for the synchronization settings is to sync every 30 minutes you can do that you can adjust that as necessary and so let's go ahead and save those settings uh, yes I want to save my password and if we click back to go to the actual file share library you have two options. You can wait for the, for the, oh, uh, I was going to say you can wait for the sync to occur, or you can, um, or you can do a one-time sync because we enabled it in the, in the uh, configuration settings. You would do that by clicking on the library tab in the ribbon and going to sync file share library and normally you'll see this uh, file share library is synchronizing this may take several minutes and refresh the page to see the sync to see the sync status and so now if I click on a tale of two cities for example With the new version of FileShare, I have the option to open it directly. Let's go ahead and open that in Notepad. Like so, and I'll try it over from the other monitor. You can see a tale of two cities there. It's important to note that because of the way that I configured file share, the the tale of two cities file that I opened is still resident on the file share. It's not actually imported into SharePoint. If I wanted to do that, uh, I can by clicking on the ribbon I'm sorry going to the context menu I can do an import export and you will see that the status menu has changed and the icon went from green to blue basically and now this file is actually stored in SharePoint and is still resident on the on the file share so let me show you that real quickly If I get back into uh, the web front end, the RDP on the web front end, and we look at, 
my share folder, which is where Tale of Two Cities originated, you'll see that that, that file is still there and because we imported it into SharePoint, it's also resident in SharePoint. So, as a quick demonstration, we can now edit the properties of this file. Hopefully. And let's go ahead and change the name of the file to A Tale of Two Cities SharePoint. And we will change the title to SharePoint as well. So let's go ahead and save that. And you will see that now the, the title has been changed. And um, if we look at our web front end again real quick here, if we look at the file share, it has not been changed on the file share. And now if we do a, let's do a sync and see what happens. So to do an immediate sync, so I don't have to wait for the timer job, we're going to click on the library tab on the ribbon and click the immediate sync button. And you will notice that even though we change the file name in SharePoint. There's still basically a link between the Tale of Two Cities and the file share and a Tale of Two Cities dash SharePoint in the file share library. So we, the, even though we change the name in SharePoint, it will not be resynced. So hopefully that will help you, uh, understand FileShare Library, and I look forward to seeing you in the next part, which is installing and configuring Video Library and integrating that with FileShare as well.